I am Denise. Thank you for watching my video. Today I will be talking about the pronunciation of the words tire, fire, tired, and ironed. The reason I chose these words is because I often hear people mispronounce them. Okay? Before I get started though talking about the pronunciation, I would like to ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And also, if you like this video, please hit that like button, okay? And one more thing, please take a look in the description box. In the description box, you will find a link to donate to my channel. And if that is something that you're able to do, please consider doing that. It would help me out a lot. <laughs> and it would help me be able to continue to make videos, okay? So if that's something you're able to do, please consider donating. All right, let me talk about the pronunciation now. As I said, I often hear people mispronounce these words, in particular, these two, okay? This is tired, this is iron. I often hear people say something like tired for this word, something like this. They pronounce the R-E-D, is red, tired. It's not pronounced that way. It's tired. This one I often hear mispronounced is iron. They pronounce these three letters as run, but in American English we don't pronounce it that way. It's iron. Okay? So these two are wrong, and I will be getting into more detail right away. All right? So let me start. Each of these words has the sounds I, er in them. And you can see that I have written the, <clears throat> these symbols here. These are the transcriptions for the corresponding words. So you can see I, er, it's the same as this. I, er, I, er, I, er. Okay? Now, Right now, when I'm pronouncing these, I'm probably stretching out the sounds a little bit. When we say the words, though, we can reduce the length of them. We can squeeze the sounds together more than I'm probably doing right now, okay? Um, but let's look at pronouncing these words, or the sounds. <laughs> okay, so for the I part, I, you can see I've written two symbols here. This is really one sound, but it's made up of two symbols. Because it's made up of two other sounds that are put very closely together to produce the one sound. So we start with an ah vowel sound. To make this sound by itself, I would open my mouth wide, ah, and have my tongue low in my mouth, ah. But to make this sound by itself, it, my mouth is not opened wide, it's only open a little. It, my lips are spread a bit, and the front of my tongue rises a little bit. It. To make them together, we move smoothly from ah to it. I, 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 and it becomes I, I, okay? I, I. Start big and close the mouth almost. <laughs> I, I, I. Okay? All right. If you want more information about how to make these sounds, please take a look at my other videos. I have videos about these vowels, well, the vowel sounds, all of these sounds on the board, the, the T, the F, all of these, okay? So please look at my other videos if you're interested. Okay, let me go on to this one. Here I also have two symbols written. This makes the sound er. Many linguists say that this is one sound as well, er, not two as I have written it, okay? I have chosen to write it this to write it this way, but you may see it in many other ways, okay? Here are some here. These are just some other transcriptions for the sound er or sounds. All right, there's some here. Um, please do not be con too concerned about 
the way I have transcribed any of these signs here, because there are so many differences, um, you will find them depending on what kind of dictionary you look at or what kind of other resource you look at. So please don't be too concerned about the transcription. Just try to listen carefully <laughs> to the sounds that I'm making, okay, so that you understand. And as a matter of fact, there are other transcriptions for I as well, okay? But again, um, well, let me get back to this one. So I have written two symbols here. This is the vowel, the schwa vowel sound. It is pronounced uh. My mouth is open only a little bit and it, it doesn't really move. Uh, uh. But then I move into the r sound. When I move from uh to the r, you will see my, okay, this is uh. R has the lips stick out a little bit, so you will see my lips pushing up a bit when I make this, okay? Er, er. So I start like this, and then push up my lips a bit. Er, er. To move from this, my, my tongue is pretty low in my mouth here, too. To move to this one, though, I have to pull my tongue back. I pull it back and tighten it. So, it's kind of low. I pull the center of my tongue back. Er, er. Other people may pull back the tongue but curl up the tip. Okay? I don't curl up the tip of my tongue. Um, many people do. You can do it either way. And again, if you're really interested in this sound, please take a look at my other videos. But for today, I just want to say this is er. Okay? I er. So each of these words has these sounds. Let me pronounce the words for you again. Tire, fire, tired, iron, okay? I, er. Now, one question that sometimes comes up is how many syllables are in these words? If you look in dictionaries, you will see that these first three words are usually shown as one syllable each, and this fourth word is shown as two syllables. That's why I have separated the I and the urn with a hyphen here to show that it's two syllables, okay? Mm. However, depending on the dialect of the person speaking, you may get two syllables. For instance, me, when I pronounce these words, I often pronounce them as two syllables. Um, to pronounce them as two syllables, I guess I'm just maybe lengthening the, the sounds a little bit. Um, so I might, instead of tire, tire, very close together, I might say tire, tire, and kind of separate them. When people do separate these and, and make them more as two syllables, sometimes what they do is they're, for this word, tire, they may pronounce it something like this. Okay, that would be the first syllable, tie. And then they sometimes put a y sound in there before the er. Okay, tie, yer. They put a y here. Instead of just tie, er, tire, tire, very close together, they may put the y and say tire, tire. And then if, if they do that, they probably also do it with the next two words as well. They might put a y in here, so this would become fire. They might put a y here, so this would become tired. I am not concerned about the number of syllables. Some people might be, uh, it might be important to them, but really to me, it doesn't matter at all. What is important to me is that you get the sounds I, er. Don't say I read, tie red, or I run, okay? It's not tie red, it's tie erd, erd. It's not I run, it's I earn, okay? And again, remember, I'm talking about American English. <laughs> In some other places, you may get different pronunciations, all right? Okay, so I've talked about how to make I and er. Let me just briefly talk about how to make the other sounds in case you're not familiar with those. Um, again, 
and you can see my other videos if you want more details, okay? But briefly, for this, this word, tire, we have a t sound for the letter T. To make this t sound, I put the tip of my tongue on the ridge just behind my upper teeth, okay? Then I stop the air from coming out of my mouth, and then I release my tongue. When I release it, the air comes out and we hear the sound. So, tongue on the ridge behind my teeth. T-t, okay? T-i-r, tire. T-i-r, tire. All right? For fire, we start with the letter F and the F sound. For this sound, I put my upper teeth very lightly on, on the inside of my lower lip, like this, and then I blow air out of the sides of my mouth. Okay? So this is I or I or fire, fire. Okay? For this word, tired, the first part, tire is exactly like this word, okay? But in addition, for the letter D, we have a D sound. So this is tired, 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 erd. The, to make the D sound, it's very similar to the T sound. The tip of my tongue, or the front of my tongue, goes on the ridge behind my upper teeth. I stop the air, and then I release it to make the sound. D, D, just like I do for this sound. The difference between these two is that this one is voiceless. It does not use the vocal cords. This one is voiced and it does use the vocal cords. <clears throat> so this part is er plus a D, erd, erd, tired, tired, tired. Now, one thing though, when we have a D at the end of a word like this, sometimes we do not fully release that D. It might be tired. Somebody might keep their tongue up there and not really release it. But for this video today, I'm going to try to be consistent and release it. Okay, we'll see what happens. Tired, tired, okay? All right, then for the last word, we don't have a letter or a sound in front of the I, so it's just iron, urn. We have the sound n here. This is a nasal sound, which means we use our nose, okay? The tongue goes on the ridge behind my teeth, just like it does for t and d. But instead of letting the air out of my mouth, I push the air out through my nose, okay? N. So this one is iron, okay? All right. <laughs> One more time for the, I'll say these four words and I would like you to please repeat them after me and then I'm going to give you several sentences to practice with me, okay? So let's just first practice the words. Please repeat. Tire. Fire. Tired. Iron. All right, let's go on to sentences. Here are some sentences to practice saying with me. These sentences use the word tire. Please listen to me, read the sentences, and then repeat them after me, okay? First, I will say the sentence slowly, and then I will say it again a little bit faster. So please repeat each time. Here we go. I got a flat tire yesterday. I got a flat tire yesterday. I got a flat tire yesterday. The tires need air. The tires need air. The tires need air. I bought new tires for my car. 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 <laughs> okay? Let's go on. Here are some sentences with the word fire. Please repeat them after me. There's a fire in the fireplace.
place. There's a fire in the fireplace. There's a fire in the fireplace. We had a bonfire on the beach. We had a bonfire on the beach. We had a bonfire on the beach. The fire burns hot. The fire burns hot. The fire burns hot. Here are some sentences with the word tired. Please repeat them after me. I was tired after running. I was tired after running. I was tired after running. Do you get tired often? Do you get tired often? Do you get tired often? He was tired and went to bed. He was tired and went to bed. He was tired and went to bed. Here are some sentences with the word iron. Please repeat. We need a new iron. We need a new iron. We need a new iron. The irons are on sale. The irons are on sale. The irons are on sale. I iron my shirt every day. I iron my shirt every day. I iron my shirt every day. Okay, that's it for these four words. I hope that this video helped you. I really, really do. Thank you so much for watching it. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. And also please consider donating to my, ch to my channel. It would be a huge help to me. And um, also, please watch my other videos, okay? I'd really love it if you could do that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.